you're okay. You'll be okay. You be okay. You okay. It's all God. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just want to. I don't know how to say this, man. I just want to apologize to my subscribers. I just want to say that I'm sorry. I feel like I have failed you guys. I feel, I, I feel, I just really feel like I failed you guys. You know what I'm saying? I put my all into everything that I do and, and to come up short, it, it just really sucks. Two weeks ago, I met one of the most amazing human beings on this earth. I met Miss Gloria. Miss Gloria touched my heart, uplifted my spirits in ways that can never be duplicated. The day I met Miss Gloria was hands down one of the best days of my life because I have never seen such an individual so grateful, so thankful, and just so humble to be where they were in life. After the first video of giving back to Miss Gloria, I got such amazing feedback, such amazing support from my subscribers. And it made me feel so good. Like I was like, I'm bringing my subscribers together for a great cause. You know what I'm saying? To show you guys positive things in positive ways. It even touched you guys so much that I got a, a huge amount of requests to set up some type of foundation, some type of charity for Miss Gloria so we can make her, her life just special. Just do something special together for Miss Gloria. And honestly, I couldn't thank you guys enough. Something amazing happened. We came together, together as a family and raised over $5,000 for Miss Gloria. Now, after that stream, I set out to do what I was supposed to do, what I was put on this earth to do, and that's to motivate and inspire. Now, it turns out the actual house and location where I first met Miss Gloria was actually not even her house. I knocked on the door and some, some random guy came out. I thought maybe it was Miss Gloria's son. Turns out the people that live in the house are renting from some owner. They don't even know who Miss Gloria is or what she was doing. Now all of this did not make sense to me. Did not make sense how someone can come in your front yard, cook on your property, and you have no clue, no idea who Miss Gloria is or a phone number or anything. It, it just really, it did not make sense. I didn't stop there. I didn't stop at that one route because it didn't make sense to me. So I went around this neighborhood and mind you, this is in the hood. This is not just a suburban neighborhood, you know, rich people neighborhood. You can go around, you know, asking for someone. I searched throughout this whole neighborhood to try to find Miss Gloria. I went to churches, I went to stores, I went everywhere. No one knew who Miss Gloria was. I went back several times to the same house that I met her. These people did not want to give me any information. They didn't know anything. So days go by and day after day, I would go to that same location and just pray and hope that to, of some type of sign, some type of something, just something, just a sign of who Miss Gloria was or where she lives or anything. A couple days go by and I keep asking this guy, literally keep pestering this guy because as much as you guys want to give the blessings to Miss Gloria, I do as well. He finally let me know that Miss Gloria doesn't even live in Orlando, bro. She actually lives in a city right outside Orlando, which is Kissimmee. Now, if you live in this area, you would know it'd be, it would still be pretty impossible to find someone. I don't have a license plate. I don't have Miss Gloria's last name. I don't have the church that she went to. I really don't have anything. I don't have nothing. I've come to a point where I can no longer do anything. I've been looking and searching for Miss Gloria for over two weeks. This really hurts, man. It really hurts. And honestly, that's why I haven't uploaded any, any videos, man. I've been really depressed. This whole situation has depressed me. I feel like I have failed my subscribers. Because I've painted this picture perfect ending that's probably not even gonna happen. Tonight, live on stream, I will be refunding all $5,000 that were donated for charity for Miss Gloria. I really appreciate you guys getting behind the cause 
and really just pushing to do something positive. There's so much negativity in the world that something this beautiful would have just been amazing. Like it would have been, it would have been dope as fuck. It would have been great, but you can't force God's timing. I've learned that. This, this past couple of weeks, I've been depressed as fuck. I'm like, why can't I find this lady? Like, why can't I get any information? I didn't understand it. I'm like, wow, Lord. Like, why can't I give her these blessings? I slowly learned that God has perfect time. You know what I'm saying? Perfect time. You can't force what is not meant to be. Maybe this is not meant to be right now. I don't know. Maybe it's not right to be. Or maybe I need you guys. Maybe I need to stop trying to do shit all by my goddamn self and ask you guys for help. I don't know what it is, but for now, I am gonna refund all $5,000 live on stream tonight. And I don't wanna give up, trust me, I don't wanna give up. If you guys wanna help me find Miss Gloria, if you guys wanna help me make a difference and just do something amazing, please, if you have any information, Tweet me on Twitter at PrettyBoyFredo or email me and let me know. Let me know any information about Miss Gloria that you guys possibly have. I truly want to find this lady. I truly want to make it special for her. I will be refunding this money tonight. And if I eventually find her, I will donate my own funds. I know how much you guys want to be a part of the cause, but for the simple fact that they're simple minded, individuals out there that's you know say Fredo wants the five thousand dollars for himself nigga i have my own fucking money my nigga i'm trying to make something special for uh, another individual and you want to downplay what i'm trying to do so for that reason i will be refunding all the money but i don't want to quit i'm not going to give up if you guys have any information please let me know and I'll donate my own funds to Miss Gloria. I really, really want to find her. But I've learned that you, you can't force something. God has a plan. And God has perfect timing.